Remember to be nice, Kyoki. I'll come and get you in the afternoon. But Serena, why do I have to stay with Shermaine? She's boring. Her grandpa was nice enough to watch you while I go volleyball practice. Try to get to know her better, and I'm sure you'll have fun. Okay. <laughs> Oh, zoom in. Your friends stay here. Oh. Hmm. Hi. Hey, Kiyoki. Ready to have some fun? We're gonna read poems. They will catch the clouds above the old stream beds and pull down the rain. Kaoki? Are you bored? No. Well, maybe a little. How about I show you one of my favorite things to play with? Okay. Hmm? This is my favorite thing. Uh, a tree? Yeah. This is my mango tree. There's plenty of cool things you can do with it. Here, follow me. Look how high up we are. Do you like climbing? So cool! Yes! I like to swing in this too. The best thing about this tree is it gives us snacks. How is it? Super juicy! This tree is the best toy ever! <laughs> the Hawaii way is my way, it's the place where I am from. The children are Hawaii's lay, you'll meet them when you come. There's so many places you can go, so many roads that you don't know. No be lolo go, holo holo and see. Cha cha cha, holo holo the highway. Let's find an awesome new adventure, the highway. We can make new friends along the way, holo holo the highway. Cause it's more fun when we're creative, hop on in. And me, special delivery. Da -da 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 -da. The highway. Bring. Today's episode is about trees. <laughs> Yoki, time to go home. <gasps> I had a nice evening. That was fun. Yay, I'm glad you like my tree. I love your tree. <laughs> Ahoy ho. Okay. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. Serena, can I have a mango tree for my birthday? A mango tree? Yeah. I'm on a big mango tree. Do you like mint? Well, okay, okay. It's going to take a while for the mango tree to grow up. Huh? What do you mean? Well, trees are like you and me. They're born very tiny, and they need a lot of loving care as they grow. The mango tree in Sumin's yard is probably about 100 years old. Wow, that's old. How about we ask to do if we can plant a mango tree, and in the meantime, you can come here and play with Zoom In. Okay! <laughs> I'm gonna plant a mango tree, mango tree, mango tree. Trees are wonderful things, and they're very important to the health of any place. Here in Hawaii, Birds, winds, and waves were the first to bring seeds to the islands. Then our Hawaiian ancestors brought young saplings and seeds with them on their canoes. They planted these young saplings, cared for them, and this allowed the land to flourish. We are so lucky to live in a place with so many green trees. But how do trees actually work? A tree grows from a tiny seed. Eventually, a strong trunk grows up towards the sky. Branches sprout from the trunk like fingers feeling the sun's rays. Along the branches of the tree, leaves sprout. 
Leaves are very special because they help us breathe. With the help of the sun, through a process called photosynthesis, the leaves take in carbon dioxide, which we breathe out, and give out oxygen, which we breathe in. But did you know that trees also use oxygen? Especially when they're stressed. Leaves and branches also keep us cool and give us shade. Just like we sweat when it's hot, trees sweat too. This process is called transpiration. But some of the coolest parts of a tree are the parts we can't even see. Underground, a tree grows roots to keep it strong. The roots help the tree take water, oxygen, and nutrients from the soil in order to make sugar. And that's what the tree eats. Roots are fascinating. Did you know that trees can communicate to each other through their roots? Roots also help keep the soil from washing away when it rains, and they keep our groundwater fresh. Trees do so many things. They help us breathe, they keep us cool, they give us food, and they provide homes for insects, animals, and kiki. Trees truly are tremendous. You're watching The Highway. Check us out at htyweb.org. Son? <laughs> Do you want to help? Suppose. What are those? Those are Milo seeds. What's that? A seed is what a plant grows from. I know that. I'm a nature spirit too, you know. What's a Milo? A Milo is the kind of tree we're standing under. It's the kind of flower you're wearing on your head. Oh! It's big! It is. In many parts of the Pacific, people make canoes out of them. It takes a lot of tree to make a canoe. Yeah. What are these? These are sort of like the seeds canoe. They can survive floating in the ocean for up to a year. <laughs> These little seeds have to be really tough to survive long ocean voyages. They'll help some grow if you crack them open just the tiniest bit. You want to try? <sighs> Gently, you don't want to smash the seed or your hand to a pulp. Just a little tap will do it. Okay, okay, that's plenty. Good work. <laughs> Want to see something really cool? What? But first, we have to climb. This way, you can leave the hammer. Huh. This isn't sounding really cool to me. Uh, here in Hawaii, milo trees were reserved for the ali. Uh, and their word is prized for making bowls and plates. In Tahiti, they're used to make drums. <sighs> Blah, blah. Climbing is boring. I thought we were going to do something cool. Don't think of it as climbing. Think of it as giving Mama Milo a hug. 
Who's Mama Milo? I am. Aloha e ku mau hoa li'ili. Great. Hi there, tree. Aloha, Mama Milo. Would it be all right if we visit your birds? Of course. There's a family on that branch just above you. But be quiet. The baby just finished eating. When a milo tree loses a branch, it doesn't grow back very easily. But in the place where the branch once was, the manu o ku find the perfect home to raise their young. Trees are like people. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some are short. Some are tall. Some are big. And some are small. There are all kinds of trees with all kinds of qualities. Koa trees are great for building things. Ulu trees provide delicious breadfruit. And palm trees aren't even trees. Ooh. In fact, the scientific definition of a tree might surprise you. With so many different kinds of trees, it's important to know that many trees are going to need different types of care and conditions so that they can be the best tree that they can be. Not all trees should be planted in the same places. It's all about finding the right tree for the right place. Plant the right tree in the right place. Make sure the bugger get plenty space. Don't let the branches get tangled in the power line. Bombarda lights go out and put your thumb. It's up to you and me for help the trees. Be the best trees they can be. So malama the trees. You might not want to plant a fruit tree right next to a sidewalk. Or you'll be walking on juicy pulp. Likewise, if you plant a tree that's going to grow really tall, make sure there are no important wires above it. The tree needs room for grow Even though the roots don't show It's good for you to know How for my llama the trees Many tree root systems are similar in size to their branches Mango trees can get really big, so you definitely don't want to plant one right next to your swimming pool. Plant the right tree in the right place. Be a kamai and go replace. Invasive species making plenty sheep by. Keep them out, no let on inside. It's up to you and me. Help our trees Be the best trees they can be So malamara trees So my name is Desiree Page. I'm with the Aloha Arborist Association. And today we're working in the Lion Arboretum. Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Schwarz and I'm a certified arborist working at the Lion Arboretum. I love my job. 
because we get to care for trees every day. Right behind me is a ficus trigonata, and we're gonna trim this tree back today so that the native Hawaiian plants underneath are getting more sunlight. And to do that, we're gonna do it in the safest way possible, and we're gonna be using a lot of this equipment that you can see in front of us. So the first step this morning is I'm gonna take my slingshot, and I'm gonna launch a line up there, and I'm gonna set a line for myself so that I can work. With my assistant Haley, we're gonna load test the line and make sure it can handle the weight of two people. I'm gonna put on my gear now and start climbing up the line, click in my ascenders, and up I go. The role of arborists is to make sure that trees are healthy and strong, that there's no hazards or risk present, so that the people under them can enjoy them safely. A lot of people, when they see us working in a tree, they assume that we're going to cut it down or that what we're doing is harmful to the tree. But in order for the tree to live its longest life, things need to be done like clearing them so that no damage is done to the house and removing hazards and, and damaged branches. I love trees. Um, I loved trees before I was an arborist and it's maybe that's why I became an arborist. We have thousands of different varieties and species of trees and it's just um, really rewarding and special to get to work hands-on with all these different trees that you can see. So a lot of people like to ask me what my favorite type of tree is and I like to respond, um, what is your, who is your favorite kid? <laughs> because all trees are different, they're all individuals and they all have different qualities and things that make them great. They give us so much and um, they're such an important part of the environment. I think it's important for people to give back when they can and I feel like as an arborist, I'm able to do that. The highway will be right back. Check us out at htyweb.org. Trees mess up the sidewalk. The roots push through the concrete. I try to take one walk, I trip everywhere. So you enjoy taking walks? Only on one side of the street. Well, the sidewalk is nice and smooth on the sunny side of the street. Ah, too hot that side. No more shade. Well, what do you think provides the shade? The leaves, which connect to the trunk of the, the tree. OK, fine. It's good trees give shade. You know, we have new ways of planting trees so the roots won't put cracks in the sidewalks. It's all about the right tree in the right place with the right care. Oh, my electric bill is so high this month. around your Manapua stand? Done. I'm going to cut them all down. And how many AC units you have running? Uh, three. And three fan units, I think. Oh, cost plenty of money, those. Did you know that the cooling impact of one healthy tree is comparable to up to 10 AC units running all day long? Oh, but I like my AC. Yeah. But you like saving money too, right? Of course. This one mana poor business, not one not for profit. The shade protects your shack from the harsh sun and the trade winds are lovely. Oh, a Kamayao spending a little money on trees can save you money in other places. Eh, and it's not just about saving money. It's also about saving the environment. Did you know that the shade from one tree is actually cooler than the shade from this tent? Okay. Organic, that's why. Oh, yeah. Just like how my manapua tastes better with real char siu. You don't use real char siu. I do now. What you see now? Oh! The freeway. 
Is that the view you like see? No, I like see nature. If you like see nature, then hurry up and plant one not a tree in the front yard. What's the matter, you? You still. Trees don't live in the fear, they add to it. <laughs> this mango tree's been around since the time of my great grandfather. It's seen so much. If trees could talk, what do you think they would say? Swallow up your couch, the tree needs room for 